Ladies and gentlemen, NEO is becoming a $1 trillion artificial intelligence company thanks to the groundbreaking technologies and innovations showcased today. So folks, NEO is becoming a $1 trillion artificial intelligence company because of the things they showcased at today NEO event. I will summarize the entire 4-hour event in this video. First, the NEO CEO took the center stage and talked about how massive their global R&D footprint is. They have 11K R&D staff worldwide and over 9,000 patents. They are industry leaders in terms of patents, and they invest heavily in R&D. He mentioned that last year they talked about NEO's full-stack technology, but now they are showcasing it with the ET9. The ET9 has 17 world-first technologies that have never been seen in any other car before. There are 52 industry-leading features, making it the best. The car alone has over 500 patents. They are currently conducting 900-volt high-performance tests for the car, and everything is going well. He quickly talked about the L60, which has low energy consumption. This showcases NEO-leading technology and is part of their great R&D results. He mentioned the Gen 4 battery swap station, which swaps in 2 minutes and 24 seconds. NEO owners can always enjoy the latest battery tech in their cars. Their 150kWh semi-solid state battery pack achieves 360Wh per kilogram, which is absolutely crazy. NEO prioritizes battery lifespan with a target of 15 years, maintaining 85% battery health. Then, he talked about Nomi GPT and the NX9031 NEO God Brain chip, which have had successful production runs. They showcased how capable this chip is in image signal processing with the same camera sensor, but different chip processing. So, it was NX9031 versus the industry standard. And this shows that NEO chip has excellent low-light ISP performance. Then he explained how they can improve. To improve efficiency in both the company and production, he talked about using AI code generation, which improves efficiency by up to 30%. With artificial intelligence-powered services, the service team has seen up to a 50% improvement in assisting NEO owners online. In the factory, artificial intelligence inspection which can achieve 0.1 mm precision, and artificial intelligence audio-visual inspection and noise inspection have been added to ensure cars are made perfectly. He then talked about smart systems assistance and intelligent driving. He officially launched SkyOS, which is quite remarkable. Now, what is SkyOS? In the first decade, from 2002 to 2010, car infotainment used AutoSAR, which was a generalized software, then it transitioned to Android and Linux-based systems. Tesla uses Linux-based software. Everything is coded on Linux, but it never had full-domain AI features for the in-car system. For example, the ET9 has 31 sensors, its ultra-bandwidth is 43.85 GB per second, and it requires ultra-low latency. If they can improve the reaction time from 30 milliseconds at 120 km per H, the reaction time for braking will be 1 meter ahead. They have done 117 OTAs and added 862 new features. The cars also need ultimate reliability and stronger privacy protection with systematic information security. Then he returned to SkyOS, their own Linux competitor, for artificial intelligence-powered EVs. They have a lot of different technical jargon and many steps. I will try to best summarize. Their Sky OS H is for emulation, which is for a virtualized hardware resource pool. So that improves real-time latency by 50% compared to Linux. And then Sky OS M improves the safety of the system. And Sky OS R is for driving. And if we compare general Sky OS with Linux, which is Tesla-based, whenever I say Linux, you can imagine Tesla. Sky OS can achieve 113 times faster performance in light loads and up to 20 times faster in heavy loads. So, of course, this is their own code, their own software, right? You can imagine it like Google creating Android, and then there's Linux, and then Neo created Sky OS, which is their own. Alright, 
there should be a seamless fusion between the car and the cloud. They achieve this with just a 25 millisecond delay with the cloud. And of course, they have their own protocol for this. All right. To achieve this, they use an in-house developed protocol stack called TOX. TOX reduces packet loss to zero and supports high bandwidth transfer. So, there will be a lot of data transfer between the car and the cloud. This will be well protected. But also, you know that they have their own protocol for this. All right. And then their own protocol, which is from the industry standard SOMIP. Apparently, their protocol provides 50% better AB reaction time, which is very impressive. Next, they talked about Bayanihan 3, which is the next generation artificial intelligence based software system. This is not just a UI improvement, it's a massive AI improvement in general. So, first of all, there is an intelligent chassis, which is the first artificial intelligence smart chassis for smart suspension, which has already been released and it knows where the bumps and potholes are on the road and adjusts the car in advance. NEO is the first and only one to do this, and already has over 150 million bump points registered in China. All right, there are so many bump points available, and the car will adjust its suspension to smoothly pass over those bumps and potholes. But now, HRC can be activated without navigation, and models with dynamic damping control will also see an improved score. And they have significantly improved comfort because of this. They have added a real comfort mode that enhances comfort by up to 25% and reduces dizziness by up to 10%. Overall, comfort has increased by nearly 50%. Then there are intelligent applications. The car has millions of immersive songs, they have added an AI sound tuning app with Pro EQ. The car has artificial intelligence generated real time tuning solutions. You can tell Naomi that you want more bass in a song or louder vocals, and Naomi will tune it live on the spot. Additionally, if you want, you can have specific artist tuning. For example, if you are playing Taylor Swift songs and want the vocals to be louder, the car will remember this. And the next time you play Taylor Swift's songs, the vocals will be louder, which is quite crazy. Proprietary web apps that are native to Neo Car displays have been added, including many mini apps like Starbucks, McDonald's, KFC, and Tencent WeChat. These mini apps can now be opened on the Neo screen. They can also be activated through Nomi. So, you can tell Nomi to order Starbucks, and you'll get your coffee. It's absolutely crazy. They also talked about Nomi Emotional Intelligence. Now, you can talk to Nomi without wake-up words, and multiple people can talk simultaneously or consecutively. So, if there are four or five people in the car, they can all talk to Nomi, and Nomi knows who is who and who is talking to her. For example, if one person is talking about a train ticket and another about an NBA game, simultaneous communication can happen. You can give dozens of commands in one go. Then they talked about the generative interaction architecture, which leads to advanced human-car interactions. This is really crazy. So, Nomi can help you find the nearest parking spot in an underground parking lot, for example. And when it's hot, it can suggest which parking lot to go to, like, go to this parking lot instead of that one. It will also tell you which parking lot in the shopping mall is closest to the basement. It will say, hey, turn right. Go to this parking area instead of going left, because that parking area is further away. Then, Nomi can also give an overview of Guardian Mode, which is neo own Sentry Mode. If there is any damage or bumps, it will quickly assess and tell you what's going on. You can also access Neo service with a tap if you need it. This is absolutely crazy. Then it explained how Nomi is a discovery agent. It's really insane. For example, if you are driving on the road and your child asks, Hey, what is that round building? Nomi will answer the question based on where the car is on the map and the geographical feature of that round building. Nomi will tell you what that round building is, like it's a museum from the 1800s or something else. This is absolutely crazy. Nomi can also organize and find the best restaurants near you. Nomi DJ can play music near you and also talk about it, telling you what the music is about, etc. 
There is 4K dash cam footage that can be edited and processed into a short movie or video using AI. This is called Nomi Intelligent Film Creation. It can also role play. When you tell it that you are wearing a cowboy hat, it knows it is a cowboy and gets into character. It can even sing songs with a very good tune. Yes, you heard that right. You can create a song and Nomi can sing it with a very good tune. This is absolutely nuts. So, Nomi works like a vocalist in your car, and let's quickly discuss some features of NOP+. For Neo, NOP Plus is quite straightforward in terms of regulations and required tests. However, they mentioned that complex real-life traffic is very different. There are cars and bikes everywhere, so they have to create an end-to-end -end solution. And the biggest point is that they are using artificial intelligence for predictive reconstruction. Artificial intelligence has seen millions of scenarios similar to real-life situations. It can predict what the scenario will be like a few seconds ahead and then react accordingly. So, it uses generative artificial intelligence to create an image of what will happen in the next few seconds. It's absolutely amazing. In terms of world modeling and reconstruction, it's thinking in a parallel world. Every second that passes, the parallel world is thinking three seconds ahead. This means it's basically thinking three seconds ahead with all the possibilities. Every 0.1 second, there are 216 possible trajectories. And NEO computing power and artificial intelligence computing power are considering all those possible trajectories every 0.1 second. It's absolutely amazing. So, it uses artificial intelligence to predict traffic, like where the car is coming from and where it's going. It's absolutely amazing. NEO is fully utilizing artificial intelligence and creating its proprietary software that can challenge Linux. And it's actually better than Linux with lower packet loss. They are using artificial intelligence in every aspect of the company. It's absolutely insane. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.